I'm going to show you how to define an offset accounting for legacy data transfer in assets, SAP S4M system. My name is Nuno Dias, and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance area. I work as an SAP FICOM contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance, and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Here, in this channel, we are doing a full life cycle implementation series based in finance and controlling. So please subscribe this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. Currently, I'm building a document that will become a PDF in the future to know how to navigate in the SAP at a glance YouTube channel. In case you want to receive this document, it's pretty simple. You just need to connect to my LinkedIn that you can find in the description of this video and then send text me a message. I want the SAP at a glance PDF. And of course, don't forget, send me your email. So then when everything is ready, I will send for all of you guys the document. Then you can share with your friends. We are almost finishing our configuration uh, for the fixed assets. This step is a technical step, just uh, in case it's not done yet, you have not done yet. So I'm going to show you where to uh, store the GL account for the legacy data transfer. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the system in the transaction code alpha as normal. And then what you need to do is uh, uh, choose the option asset data transfer and then specify the offsetting account. You just need to click there and then it's pretty simple. Uh, you need to add here the accounts that the system is going to use for the during the, the posting for the asset data transfer for the legacy asset data transfer. I'm going to show you how to create the master data is already open in another window. So we don't have to spend time. So this is my company codes is a balance sheet account. My account group could for you could be a different account group. And then the, this you might not need to have for if you don't have consolidation. And then the control data, you need to choose. Um, it's not a reconciliation account, of course. And then this is its alternative account. It's depending, you might not have this. And then here is uh, the field task group. So it's pretty simple. You know how to create your uh, GL account for the data transfer legacy. Please uh, get in touch with our clients to create this account in the chart of accounts. If you are enjoying this video and me, as me doing it for you, please make a like to this video. <coughs> now you know how to define the offset account for the legacy data transfer in assets in SAP S4. Thanks for watching this video as part of the full life cycle implementation series that we are doing here in this channel. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to receive fresh new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.